you know that scientists have only discovered an estimated 20% of the Earth's total living species? I know, I had my mind blown as well. That just means there are more unknown animals yet to be discovered that will surely baffle even the most brilliant of scientists. However, even some already known species still baffle scientists these days. Some are so rare that they're hardly studied, like entry number one, so make sure you stay tuned for that. While some exhibit behaviors that defy explanation, some are actually pretty common. There are 10 mysterious creatures that have baffled experts. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The African Golden Cat. Most of us are happy about the extent of our knowledge of the world's cats. There's the lion, the tiger, the leopard, and the cheetah. Their American counterparts, the bobcat, the lynx, and the mountain lion. And there's one that probably lives in your house, enjoys ambushing your exposed ankles, and for some reason still gets a square meal twice a day. However, that's actually only a fraction of the almost 50 species of feline that roam our planet. The most elusive of all the world's cats is the African Golden Cat. It's about half the size of a house cat, lean and faintly spotted like a leopard, and it would much rather hide away in the forest than have anything to do with human ankles. The African Golden Cat was first described in 1827, but it's so elusive that no one managed to photograph it until 2002. And the video wasn't available until almost a decade after that, when camera traps started capturing footage of Africa Golden Cats. Even so, the animal remains so hard to spot that no one is sure just how endangered it actually is. One researcher even said that in four years of studying the cat, she's only ever seen it one time. Number 9. The Crow. Humans have known about crows for centuries. In fact, they are one of the first birds to be depicted in ancient literature. With that, how come scientists still find them baffling? Well, for one, they probably are the smartest birds in the world. And what do they do with all that intelligence? Well, they've been known to use man-made objects to their advantage, like dropping hard-shelled nuts onto the road so that cars can run them over and crack the shells. They're also excellent at remembering faces, and because of that, they can hold long grudges. Yep, these birds will remember your face and whatever action that they associate with it. If you're nice to them, they'll be nice to you. But if you're mean to them, like if you're the one who captured them, they'll remember you and get back at you when presented with the chance. Researchers in Seattle say that even though years had passed since they saw the threatening face, the crows in the experiment would taunt their captor and dive bomb him, suggesting the birds held tightly to a negative association. Why they're capable of doing this is the big mystery. Number 8. The Asian Unicorn. Back in 1902, everyone was pretty shocked to learn that the mountain gorilla wasn't a myth. And since then, there have only been a handful of large mammals discovered by modern scientists. One of the most recent is the Sayola, which was first described in 1992 after scientists found its skull in someone's house and realized they were looking at a brand new modern biologist species. The Sayola is a hooped mammal living in Vietnam that does so poorly in captivity that it almost immediately dies when put in an enclosure. It's also so elusive that it's been nicknamed the Asian Unicorn. It was last sighted in 1998, and then not until 15 years later when a camera trap finally proved that it hadn't actually gone extinct. Scientists believe there may be fewer than 100 Sayola remaining in the wild, and they are believed to be extremely vulnerable to poaching. Biologists hope to capture a breeding pair so they can try the whole captivity thing again, since that is really their only hope of being able to help save the species. Number 7. Cows. If you're like me, the only mystery I find in cows is why some steaks are more expensive than others. But to scientists, the baffling puzzle known as the humble cow is far from being solved. That's because our bovine friends inexplicably align themselves to magnetic north and south and no one has been able to fully explain why. It's not unusual for animals to use magnetic fields to their advantage. Sea turtles and pigeons are famous for orienting themselves using the Earth's magnetic fields on their long migrations. But in the case of cows, they use it for something not so epic, to make sure that they face the right direction when feeding. They don't do it all the time as well. It seems that magnetic alignment doesn't happen when the pasture isn't flat or if there are simply too many cows in the herd. At present, the biological function of magnetic alignment remains a mystery. We aren't even sure how widespread it is in the animal kingdom. It took looking at cows from space to recognize the phenomenon in one of the most common domesticated animals with which we live. Scientists will have to continue using new technological tools and looking for subtle evidence to get to the bottom of this enigma. 
Number 6. The Red Crested Tree Rat Not all rats are like the ones that live in your shed, though. Some of them are actually kind of cute, like the Red Crested Tree Rat. But you'll never get to see one because almost no one gets to see one. The Red Crested Tree Rat lives in Colombia, and until a recent sighting, it had been more than a hundred years since anyone had ever seen a live one. In 1898, a pair was trapped and studied, but probably not released because scientists in 1898 usually like to dissect things. After that, no one saw a red crested tree rat again until 2011. When it finally made its reappearance, it just kind of wandered into a group of conservationists one day, as if no one had ever been dissected. Unless you plan to join the team at the El Dorado Nature Reserve, though, you probably won't ever be so lucky. Number 5. Boring Chimpanzees Of all of the world's species, humans and chimpanzees are some of the only to engage in coordinated attacks on other members of their same species. Jane Goodall was among the first to introduce the occurrence of lethal intercommunity killings, and since then, primatologists and anthropologists have long debated the concept of warfare in this genus. No one knows why chimps go to war, but that doesn't mean there aren't any theories as to why. One theory states that they go because of the potential of increased gains and benefits of killing off competitors, and opening up increased access to key resources such as food or mates. If that theory holds true, then we have more in common with chimps than we ever thought. In contrast, others have argued that warfare is a result of human impact on chimpanzees, such as habitat destruction or food provisioning, rather than adaptive strategies. Whatever the reason is, one thing remains a fact. That is, we may never fully unravel the mystery of warring chimpanzees. Number 4. The Selenodon For most people, small mammals usually elicit exclamations of adoration, and we don't usually think to be afraid of them. There are a few small mammals that possess venom, though, just like snakes and spiders do. One of them is the bizarre and allegedly from this planet platypus. The males actually carry venom and spurs on their hind legs, which they use to paralyze opponents during mating season. Another is the Cuban Selenodon, which looks rather like a larger, hairier, and more evil version of an elephant shrew. Until recently, scientists thought the Selenodon was extinct, because there have only ever been a few scattered reports of sightings since the 1980s. Then in 2003, someone caught one. Unlike the platypus, which only has venom during mating season, the Selenodon possesses permanently venomous saliva, which it uses to subdue its prey. Capturing this specimen would probably not put the researchers in any actual danger, since the Selenodon is kind of a wimp and tends to stop running and hide its head when confronted by a predator. Which, hey, seems like a pretty valid reason for its near extinction. Number 3. The Speartooth Shark the spear-toothed shark is a very rare species found in both freshwater and saltwater. It is often found at the bottom floor of rivers. Although native to western Pacific areas like northern Australia and New Guinea, very few specimens have actually been recovered. In fact, the exact number of their population is unknown, with some speculating around 2,500 individuals out in the wild. The spear-toothed shark has a short, wide head and a flattened snout. Its teeth on the upper jaw are wide and triangular with serrated edges, while its teeth on the lower jaw are narrow and spear-like with serrations only near the tip. Largest spear tooth shark found was that of a female with a length of 175 centimeters. The large sets of jaws were examined and indicate that the size can go up to 2 meters and possibly even 3 meters. Aside from these, everything else we know is pure speculation. Their size at birth is estimated to be 59 centimeters. Like other river sharks, the spear tooth shark has been adapted to living in cloudy water with low visibility, and they're thought to be primarily fish eaters. Now it's time for today's best pick. And today's pick involves an animal that is rarely seen, but when you do see it, I'll guarantee you'll never forget it. Just what is today's animal? Find out next with number two. The rabbit fish. Chimera monstrosa, also known as the rabbit fish or ratfish, is a northeast Atlantic and Mediterranean species of fish in the family Chimeridae. This particular species is known for its large eyes and large head. They say they call it the rabbit fish due to their resemblance to those cute furry animals. Honestly, I don't see it. They are deep sea fish and prefer to live between 980 to 1640 feet of water. Any shallower and they die. They are also distant relatives of sharks, which is why they are sometimes called ghost sharks. Since they live in the deep, not much is known about their ecology. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Giant Squid the giant squid has become quite popular in recent years, possibly because scientists are slowly getting to know them better, and also probably because a lot of them have been seen washed on the beaches. But no matter how popular they have become, there's no denying that we know very little about them. Stories about giant squid have been around forever, and until recently we thought they were totally made up by sailors who either needed an explanation for the disappearances of entire ships, or really wanted to impress someone with tales of adventures at sea. The problem with these creatures is that they are a notoriously difficult species to study. Dead carcasses could only tell us a little, but a whole lot could be learned by watching a live one out in the wild. Thing is, you can't just get on a boat and go squid watching. Most people have never seen a giant squid because they live in the deep sea. Despite a century and a half of knowledge of their existence, no one was able to photograph a living one until 2004. This is when researchers in Japan finally captured images that did not involve either a dissection table or a dirty beach. Do you know of any other mysterious animals that could have made this list? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!